Hi and welcome to my tutorial. I call this uh, title I check vowels. So let me enter some stuff in there. So I'm just going to say try Mr. Mr. 3D. Okay. Uh, the try Mr. 3D tips. That's the guy who actually requested for this tutorial. He would like me to develop something to check for any vowels. So I've just entered, I believe this is his name or whatever he wants to be called. So if I click on vowel checker, that's what you get. I've actually, uh, we actually have two vowels there. So if I click on OK, you will hear it. The text is converted to speech. Let's hear that. The number of vowels in try three digits, Mr. 3D equals two. That's correct. So let's click on reset. Supposing I enter maybe something like like total count. Let's see what we happen. The number of vowels in total count equals four. You hear that guys? So let's see that again. There are four vowels there. Okay. The number of vowels in total count equals four. Okay, now let me take you straight to the development environment right there. I'll show you the form. Here is the form. Let me open up the property. In the property up here, my title, I have a label. Right here, I have a group box. And right inside the group box is a text box. Here is a button one and button two. The button two is for reset. Button one itself. That is where I have all my codes. As you can see, I've, developed, I've uh, declared to have my I sported uh, vowels as spring right there. And uh, I also declare another variable called number of vowels as integer. Number of vowels, I've assigned that to be zero. And the uh, I sported vowels equals me dot text so whatever content is inside the text box is stored right in here why all of this here that is just to look for each vowels and add them to number of vowels right here so this look for this a e i o u y y is also a vowel now the next thing i then did was i have a message box here to display the result of how many vowels I have in there. Why here have SAPI to tell you how many vowels? SAPI will just tell you what's going on. And underneath here, I have declared some, uh, I made up some uh, functions. The reason being, I tried the if statement, that seems to be too long, but with a function, function is much better. Here are the variables that I declare three integers and one string. And uh, right underneath here, all of here, just all I've just done is to convert whatever is in there to uppercase so that the system can check it. Then I have a for loop here. And uh, the next thing is uh, to read individual letter from spring and convert them to uppercase right there. And here I just incremented it by one to find a mash a mash in the text box once the mash is fine is incremented by one the value if you find if there are three vowels the first one is e maybe the second one is y the first one will be added to the second one and it's stored in here okay then it return number three and right underneath here i have just a reset button that's my reset button right there so what I'll do now, Mr. 3D, if I scroll back up, I believe you and your friends will be able to use this. Let me scroll back up so that you see everything. You don't have to incorporate SAPI into it. You can always always comment that out. That's SAPI right there. You can just get rid of them if you don't want it. That's it. Okay. You can also leave it. So let's scroll down. That's the rest lines of the re the rest lines of the code. So if I run the program now. This is what you get. Um, let's just go for trees. So you can, as you can see, Sapi is not there anymore. But if I let's suppose I take off Sapi, bring Sapi back to life, so you can do what you like with it. And I just write in maybe 
weighty. So that's here. Then. The number of vowels in forty equals two. Okay, so I'm just gonna call this by for now, Mr. 3D. I suppose you enjoyed this tutorial and you have a good day with your assignment. Have a nice one now.